Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. Yeah. And today, we're continuing Life is Strange, <laughs> episode one. Well, this is part five of episode one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we call our, our videos parts. I mean, we refer to them as episodes, but this could get confusing fast, guys. Yeah. So last we left off, we witnessed uh, abuse in the home of Chloe. Yeah, because... It, it tr Typical abuser language is like, it's your fault that I'm so mad. Yes. And That's I, why I was like, oh, hell no. So it was it was a pretty solid example of like emotional and physical abuse because he slapped her across oh. the face, which... Well, and um, surveying your family is also fucked up. <laughs> That's, that takes it to a whole new level. But Basically, anyway... Basically, Chloe's home life is not so great. Yeah. And we climbed out of a window. And now we're at the lighthouse where we From saw the our, hurricane. From uh, our, yeah, our premonition. Dun, dun, dun. I'm still saying it's very Donnie Darko. I haven't watched it since, so I could be wrong. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Donnie Darko. All I know is with Donnie Darko, it starts when a plane, like, engine, I think it's an engine, falls through the roof of his house and destroys his bed and it was supposed to kill Donnie forever. but there was also no so plane to be found was just here oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today is Chloe here how did we get here are we oh, dreaming no. again I feel like I'm in my nightmare again maybe you are but there's no Garbage? Jerks. <laughs> I like that there's just garbage. Well, you know, like, they say in um, dreams that hurricanes and stuff like that mean big change. Like a big oh. life change. I mean, that could be a symbol of our ability to change time. Yeah, like she's learned this thing. So that was Warren just being like, just I so got lucky. beat to hell. Yeah, he I'm took a photo. Escape. Oh, there's Chloe. Oh, okay. I see so why she not likes going this. It's pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wowzer. Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. Aw. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> yeah. Aww. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. I'm sorry I was out. No worries. I know my stepdorf can be scary. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. <sighs> I'm glad I took his photo with Kate. Just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? PTSD. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. <laughs> yeah. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. PTSD. He's a total surveillance <laughs> fetish. Learned yeah. There's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe... Your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's no good... Good response here. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Uh. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. Whoa! What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. <laughs> Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. Well, I guess I an that answers both of the I questions. Yeah. An easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Uh, how 
How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't Whoa. believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls. Uh. And Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. That's so messed up. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. <laughs> well, it makes sense how it's it escalated. Still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. <laughs> Feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. Oh. <laughs> Poor Chloe. She's been through some shit. Yeah, she's had it harder than most people. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, do we know why she owes the three grand? Mm, I don't think so. Mm. Is the audio just missing there? I think so. It sounds like it is. Oh, weird. Whoa. This is super weird. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh? Oh, no! Oh, no. No, I can't. oh shit. <coughs> Why is this happening to me? Well, it's bad. Maybe it's because she was like having an episode. Wait, yeah. Whoa. Interesting. Follow the ghost deer. Is Chloe still up there? I have oh shit! Whoa! Out. Holy fuck! Max, uh, rewind. <laughs> All right, well, that's not the correct path. Maybe go, yeah. That's kind of crazy. I feel like we... Oh, there's, there's so much contrast in this scene, in the last scene, that it, like... It's... I don't even know. I guess it's, like it's probably how she feels, too, you know? Uh, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. Um, maybe we could make it under that tree if we rush. Can if you rewind? You can move ahead of time to teleport yourself. Okay. So this is sort of. I don't know how you do that. Okay, so go up to that tree, and then rewind time because Max <sighs> doesn't actually move in space when you rewind time. No, she doesn't. So we can move that tree back up. And then just walk past it. In theory. Bam. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Which is really interesting because in earlier parts of the time traveling mechanic, we would teleport back to where we were in that place and time. Um, though I guess the White House isn't exactly a... Oh shit! This might not even be a place in time. Shit! I need to rewind and do something fast! What do I do? Just keep going. Move to the left. Now you can go around it, probably? Yeah. Yeah, this time it's way more complicated. Yeah. I feel like this is probably oh my Lord. a um. The tornado is back. Ooh, oh. Shit. Oh shit. Yeah, this is the same thing too because last time the lighthouse got hit by that boat. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Find time to read the newspaper. October 11th. Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh, okay, so this is the future. 
Oh shit. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Whoa. Yeah, their voiceover isn't working again. Like, do they want us to hear this the music? Is it, or is it like a, a glitch? I think this is a glitch. I think we're supposed to be hearing their voiceover because we turned on the subtitles. Yeah, I, that's a shame. I I wish we could hear it, but because this is such a pivotal point. <laughs> Snowflakes? <laughs> oh. I mean... Or a storm is coming. That is kind of how tornadoes work. It usually has to do with wind temperature and wind directions, but... Yeah, that's weird. This fucking <laughs> step douche. Yeah, I feel like he's pretty universally unlikable. This is this feels like the end of the episode. It kind of does. This feels like it's the um, what's it called in in writing? Oh, oh, Kate. Like this is the point that kind of triggers everything. Mm -hmm. uh, inciting incident? Yeah, this is sort of inciting incident. It's like really indirect. Well, though. inciting incident, I, I think, is her discovering her powers. Uh, that's true. So maybe this is the point of like no return, where things are happening, and now there's never going to be a chance to return back to the stasis that we were in before. Maybe that's inciting incident. I don't know plot structure well enough to recite that. Well, it just feels to me like the, the moment at the end of the episode that's like emotionally charged and they like look in on everybody and be like, these are the lives this story's going to affect. Mm, that's fair. Oh. Was that... Uh... It was either Kate's room or the principal's office. I don't remember now. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was episode one. It was actually a little bit shorter than I expected, but I guess that's what you get out of an episodic game. Which means that our final episode for this episode is going to be a little short, but I I think that was a really strong first episode for the game. Like, I, it was enjoyable. It was... It hooked us very well. Yeah, definitely a lot of questions mm -hmm. to get answered. I I like, in a way, that the bulk of the game, at least for this episode, was exploring our environment and learning about this place and all these people in it. Because um, we could have easily spent like a whole extra episode or two just poking around and seeing what Max had to say about everything. That's true. Um, so there was a lot of content, even though the actual story itself was relatively short. Um, but yeah, I I actually really like this. This is a game, the kind of game I wish we played on the show more often, so I'm glad you guys requested it, because I had no yeah. idea what to expect from this. I was thinking there was kind of like a relationship juxtaposition in that final moment, because... We chose to try to start telling everything to who, Warren mm -hmm. earlier in the game. <clears throat> We're like, or I, I chose like, yes, let's tell him about this stuff. But it gets interrupted and she doesn't get to tell him. Instead, yes. she does tell Chloe. 
Yeah, I actually. think that's like a a big thing that shows the difference between their relationship. Like that, even though they've been apart for five years, her and Chloe still have a deeper connection than she does with have than she has with Warren. And in a way, too, it was kind of what Chloe was saying, or, or I guess Max was saying to Chloe about how like their reunion seems kind of like fate. Mm-hmm. Um, but in a way, like. Max was not allowed to tell anyone else what's going on. No. Which means that her and Chloe have to work together on this. There's no way to to go around it. Which is actually kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially, too, since Max is like, why her? Why is this happening to her specifically? Uh-huh. Um, which I'm sure will be explained in, in the later episodes of this game. I'm uh, excited for more. You should vote. Yeah, absolutely. I I actually thought we were going to get, like, two more episodes out of this. But, yeah, I'd I'd like to keep playing. I would, too. I'm uh, hooked. (laughs) Well, cool. I guess any final thoughts on Life is Strange? At least episode one? I'm trying to think what would be a good question for this one. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess the question of the day could just be, what are your guys' thoughts on Life is Strange so far, at least in this episode, whether you played it or not. Um, I'm curious to hear what you guys think maybe they did best, or maybe they could have improved on, or... Or, yeah, what things did we miss? Yeah, actually, In our analysis. There's probably so many different paths that the story could take and still lead to the same final point. Um... And I'm even curious what would have happened had we stepped in in those moments that we could have. I feel like we kind of got the sad ending because we didn't really help anyone. Um, but if our choices carry over to future episodes, then I think it's it's worth it. Mm-hmm. I think it has to, right? Because if that information doesn't carry over, then I feel like it's kind of shortchanging the decision we made earlier on. Yeah. It's the whole reason people, I think, got mad at Mass Effect 3's ending. I never actually played the last one, so I don't know, but it felt like it invalidated their entire playthrough of the three games and their choices that they made. But yeah, cool. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Vote on this, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I'd say we should write out the the credits, but this might take a while. (laughs) (laughs) Especially if they're going through each region of localization. Yeah. It's a lot of people. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and... Let us know what you want us to play next, if it's part two or one of these other games up here. (sighs) Bye, everyone.